United States Attorney based here in Los Angeles. I'm joined by Don Alway, Assistant Director in Charge of the FBI in Los Angeles. Tyler Hatchman, Special Agent in Charge of the IRS in Los Angeles. We are here to, today to announce the most substantial sentence to date in our ongoing efforts to combat public corruption. Earlier this morning, former Los Angeles City Council person, Jose Pisa, was sentenced to 13 years federal prison. He received his sentence on account of a long-running scheme to extract bribes, almost $2 million in bribe payments. I will note, he was charged and convicted of a racketeering conspiracy. This is the first time an elected official has been convicted of a RICO conspiracy in our office. For 14 years, Jose Pizar had the privilege of serving the people of Los Angeles. Specifically, he served the people of the East Side, communities like Royal Heights, Eagle Rock, and downtown Los Angeles. He was with people, the hardworking people, and these are people who deserve much better. But the privilege of public office wasn't enough for Jose Pizza. He instead chose corruption and greed. He used his power to use City Hall like his personal ATM. And he treated the people who relied on City Hall like pawns in a chess game. He used his power over development projects in downtown Los Angeles to organize a racketeering conspiracy in which he would demand bribe payments from developers who wanted to build projects in downtown Los Angeles. And in this way, he extracted, just during our investigation, almost $2 million in bribe payments in the form of money and gifts, like luxury trips to Las Vegas. Instead of serving the constituents of Los Angeles with integrity, Mr. Fizar chose to lie in his own pocket. Instead of operating with honesty, he chose to act with greed. And instead of public service, he chose corruption on a massive scale. For all that, Mr. Huizar has now been sentenced to 13 years in federal prison. As I mentioned, this is the most substantial sentence to date in our ongoing efforts to root out public corruption. But it is an appropriate sentence in what which Mr. Huizar richly deserves. Death to which Mr. Huizar betrayed the voters and residents of Los Angeles is profound and we cannot tolerate that sort of corruption. Now, in recent years, my office has prosecuted a large number of public corruption cases. We've done cases against elected officials, law enforcement officers, public officials at all levels of government and for both political parties. We take no pleasure in doing these prosecutions. In fact, I find it sad to see this type of conduct, but it is essential that we pursue these public corruption cases. If the powerful and privileged in this city can violate the law with impunity, what does that say to the rest of us in Los Angeles? If our leaders can ignore the rules and apply to them, what does that say for the rule of law, not just in Los Angeles, but in our nation as a whole? For that reason, it is essential that we prosecute these cases, and we will continue to do so to root out public corruption wherever we see it. And I'd like to give credit where credit is due. We have the FBI and the IRS with us here. I applaud them for their work in this case. They work tirelessly to uncover this racketeering scheme. And let me say, these agencies work day in, day out, not just on this case, but on many other cases of <coughs> violent crime, fraud, public corruption, civil rights violations that protect the people of Los Angeles and the people of the greater Southern California area each and every day who deserve our thanks. I also want to give thanks to the prosecutors on this case, the chief of the Criminal Division, Matt Jenkins, and also AUSA's Cassie Palmer, Susan Haar, and Brian Ferris. Because of their hard work, because of their diligence, and because of their conviction, we now have a landmark sentence
which we hope will send a clear message that public corruption will not be tolerated in our city. Thank you, and now I pass the podium to Donald. Thank you, Mr. Trotter. So the FBI takes seriously our role in aggressively pursuing any allegations of corruption of our public system. The American public relies and has confidence that those sent to the office are going to do the work that they were sent to do. And we would encourage anyone with information about potential corruption to contact the FBI. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, as stated, my name is Tyler Hatcher. I'm a special agent in charge of IRS criminal investigation here in Los Angeles. Uh, we've announced the 13 year sentence, as U.S. Attorney Estrada mentioned, of one of the, the most prolific RICO cases in the history of Los Angeles. We, uh, we don't take lightly when we, lightly when we talk about RICO. Those are generally <coughs> left for uh, organized crime type cases. And in this case, I think this is a perfect example of a politically charged organized criminal enterprise. Uh, we, we found through the phenomenal work through the FBI and IRS criminal investigation that Mr. Huizar benefited personally through loans, uh, payments in cash, trips to Vegas, and other financial incentives. Whenever we're dealing with the financial side of these crimes, IRS criminal investigation is proud to work with our partners at the U.S. Attorney's Office, at the FBI, in a manner that instills confidence in the citizens of, in this case, Los Angeles, when their political officials who are elected to uh, respond in their best behalf fail to do so. And we're happy to be here to, to announce the, uh, uh, the crowning moment in what has been a long time in this case. Thank you. That will do remarks in Spanish uh, for Spanish reporters. Buenos días, mi nombre es Martín Estrada, el fiscal federal de Los Ángeles. Hoy anunciamos uno de los sentencias más altas contra el político. Esta mañana, el ex concejal de la ciudad de Los Ángeles, José Pisa, recibió una sentencia de 13 años en la prisión federal recibió esa sentencia por haber recibido y exigido casi dos millones de dólares en su nombre. Por 14 años, su suiza tuvo el privilegio de servir la, al pueblo de Los Ángeles y el Consejo Municipal. La gente puso su confianza en él, pero eso no fue suficiente para el señor Pisa. En vez de estar satisfecho con el privilegio de servir al pueblo, el señor Pisa quiso usar su posición y su poder para enriquecer, usando su poder sobre contratos. En el centro de Los Ángeles, él exigió casi dos millones de dólares en su voto, en la forma de efectivo y también regalos, incluyendo viajes y cosas a las becas. Esas normas más altas no podemos aceptar en nuestra comunidad. Si los más poderosos pueden violar la ley de impunidad, ¿qué significa eso en el resto de la gente de Y si los líderes pueden ignorar las reglas de la ¿qué significa eso para nuestro país? José Huizar traicionó a su propio pueblo con las monedas. Por su conducta, ha recibido esta sentencia de 13 años. Espero que este, esta sentencia mande un mensaje claro que todos, incluyendo los políticos, tienen que respetar la ley. We fully agree with the judge's comments. The reason we do these cases is because of the effect it has not just on the individual actions by this defendant, but overall on our democracy. As I said, if the public sees this type of corruption, it has a corrosive effect on our entire democracy. Can you talk about this? Para ser en español, pues podría elaborar en cuanto a la restitución financiera que tiene que hacer. El juez habló de una cantidad de cuantos de 43 dólares, 
zapato no se puede estar todo Yo no tengo el número exacto de cuánto yo tengo que pagar, pero es común estos tipos de casos que no solo es una sentencia de ser encarcelado, pero también que tienen que pagar algún deuda. Exactly. 